Hey YouTubers, got a couple of different dumbbells we are checking out here, doing a review. In case you um, go on to Walmart and can't decide uh, between, say, the the Cap Strength, the Troy, the Weeder, uh, possibly this will give you uh, a little help. Now, um, at first glance, you would think, um, you know, before you buy it, that cap um, is going to be better than the, the weeder. Uh, I've always kind of thought of weeder as a you know pretty cheap equipment, um, and you'll see on the prices that uh, you know depending on when you buy it, um, the cap dumbbells are always more expensive than the weeder dumbbells. So in this case, um, I believe the uh, cap one is is say forty. Uh, $43 and the weeder one was like $33 and you'll want to buy this shit at Walmart versus the other places because you get free shipping uh, it's amazing um, now don't ask why I have two different ones we'll just assume I'm doing a review on this versus that I bought them at different times uh, but uh, so just getting a chance to look at the quality um, of these and filming this in 4k so I would hope that you can actually see real good um, what they look like um, you will see that uh, there are some things about this that that actually look like imperfections um, you know and does it really matter the only thing that matters is when you weigh these and these are all you know within uh, a half a pound of, of 70 pounds uh, if my scale's right so um, that's kind of important now the uh, the knurling that's on the grip um, of course I still have the tags on them this is just not as nice as what we have over here and if I was to um, go with one of these over the other I would definitely go with the weeder one not only is it cheaper but it actually looks like it's better quality um, You'll see better tension detail on the painting on the 70s. Um, and the knurling is definitely better. Now where there are some issues, um, they could have cleaned up a little better from the, the cast on this. Um, but it also exists even worse over here. You could actually cut your finger on that. Um, and you'll see that, you know, we got much nicer edges on here. Look at that, that doesn't look that hot. So, um, I gotta go with, you know, overall quality. I would go with the weeder. Price, the weeder. Um, you know, whether these will hold up, uh, which one will hold up longer is another story. And, you know, one other thing you can see about these is the, uh, the cap actually is uh, taller for some reason. Um, Good or bad, I don't know. Um, one advantage to that, though, at least, is if you have wrist straps on, and you're trying to get your hand under there with the wrist straps, um, it's going to be a little easier on the cap because it's higher off the ground. So we have uh, another example. So that's the 70s. We have the 40s over here. We can compare side by side with... Uh, is actually the 45 of a weeder that's a 40 of a weeder and then we have a uh, another cap so interesting how the um, the graphics are the different the tags are different you just unfortunately don't get necessarily a consistent product um, but out of the 70s that was that was easy to compare these guys a little different because they are um, possibly three different brands um, where all these guys these are all caps and they were bought together and they're consistently manufactured and look the same so that's my video please subscribe thank you